So, you have a presentation to deliver. Whether it's a speech, a pitch, or just sharing information, it's important to win your audience's attention. In this class, we're going to show you how to plan a presentation. You'll learn how to structure a presentation and the elements to include so your audience retains the information. The goal of a presentation is to communicate your message in a concise, engaging, and visually appealing way. There are two steps in doing this. First, develop your content with a clear structure and direction. Second, create a visual aid that supports your message. A structured presentation will help your audience retain information more accurately. And it will help you, the presenter, stay calm and on topic. The ideal length of a presentation is 10 to 20 minutes. The more concise and focused your presentation, the easier it will be for your audience to retain the information. There's a reason TED Talks are 18 minutes at most. It's about how long most people can pay attention before they start to tune out. We can break a presentation into four sections. Introduction, outline, body, conclusion. The aim of an introduction is to engage your audience's attention. So before you start planning, consider who you are presenting to and why. Are you pitching to potential investors? Doing a workshop with colleagues? Delivering a paper to academics? Understanding your audience and the purpose of your presentation will help set the tone and direction. The introduction is also where you introduce yourself and your company, organization, school, or group and you tell your audience the topic and objective of your presentation. This can be in the title and tagline of the presentation, or you can state it like we did when we said, in this class, we're going to show you how to plan a presentation. So you've told your audience what you're going to do. Now tell them how you're going to do it. The outline is like the contents page in a book. It breaks the body of your presentation into digestible pieces. This will help prepare your audience and help you stay on course. You don't need to spend too long on this slide, but try to make it sound exciting so the audience is looking forward to what comes next. The body of your presentation is the main content. This is where you communicate your information and message to the audience. Write a list of the main points you want to communicate, then address each point one by one, supporting it with a visual slide. Clearly segmenting the different topics will keep your presentation simple and logical for your audience to follow. It's a good idea to start with the bigger picture or broader idea and then funnel down to more specific information. Visuals will help your audience understand and retain information, so it's worth quickly mentioning them here. Keep slide text short and concise, one slide, one point. Use visuals as much as possible, Remember, a picture tells a thousand words. Convert numbers and statistics to charts and graphs. They are much easier to understand. Can you engage your audience with interactive elements? Ask them a question or give them something to think about. Consider the length of your presentation if your audience is reading a pitch deck or if you have an allocated time. Keep within the time limit so no one feels rushed. And don't forget to include space to pause and take a breath. One way to do that is with divider slides. It's a chance to rest and prepare for the next section, like this. Congratulations on reaching the end of your presentation. Now, this is where you leave your audience with a lasting impression. Your conclusion should sum up your message, reinforce your point, and or reiterate the key takeaways. You could also do a quick recap like we're going to. We said at the beginning of this class, we were going to show you how to plan a presentation. So here is the recap. Introduction. This is where you tell your audience what you are going to do. The outline is where you tell them how you are going to do it. The body is where you do it. And the conclusion is where you recap on what you have done. A final slide could be many things depending on the purpose of your presentation. It could include your contact details, introduce a Q&A session, 
be a call to action, or simply thank your audience. A call to action is what you want your audience to do at the end of the presentation. Do you want them to call or email you, to enroll in a program or workshop, to buy a product, or invest in your company? A call to action will make it as easy as possible for your audience to do what you want them to do. This lesson has introduced how to plan a presentation and how a clearly structured presentation will help you communicate your message and help your audience retain information. Presentations are an art form that require preparation and practice. But with careful planning, you'll not only win the attention of your audience, but feel confident in presenting.